Yo, what's up guys, Landon here, and the update came out a few days ago, so today we're going to get the max level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s, play around with them a little bit, and get some sweet battles. But before we get into the video, I do want to say a quick sorry for no videos being uploaded this week. I go every year with my dad to the middle of the Northern Territories in Canada to go fishing. Here are some of the pictures we went after Northern Pike. Freaking crazy fish, we had a blast. But there is absolutely no Wi-Fi, so I totally struggled getting connection. I tried to tried to do videos, but it just wasn't happening. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's. There's going to be a bunch of new content coming out this week. I'm going to try to do a video every day to make up for last week. So guys, I hope you enjoy. These P.E.K.K.A.s are freaking awesome, and we get some really sweet back. So see you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, let's grab these P.E.K.K.A.s. Big shout out to Feature Points for sponsoring me with this video. If you guys want an awesome free way to get gems, make sure to check out the annotation on the screen or the link in the description down below for a sweet way. Alright, so here are the P.E.K.K.A.s. Boom! Level 5, they are completed. Let's check them out. The entire art and style of the P.E.K.K.A. got totally reworked. They're much, much bigger and they have this awesome pink glow. So they totally totally look badass I mean those guys those girls I mean they mean business I would not want to mess with one of, one of them so let's try them out let's do some go wipe raids for those of you guys that don't know go wipe is my favorite rating strategy for high level and that stands for golem wizards pekkas and I think it's gonna have a major comeback with the new level 5 pekka even though the tesla has a new level I think the go wipe strategy is going to be the new high level rating strategy or maybe a, maybe a Valkyrie thing, because the Valkyries got totally re reworked, so we're going to definitely have to play around with them real, real soon. This is the first base we're going to take on, Beer Meister. We're going to drop some Golems kind of spread apart, as well as the Wall Breakers to break through. This guy's base is definitely pretty lacking, because he has that layer of two walls, which is going to be super easy for my Wall Breakers to break through. Ever since that wall breaker AI update from a long, long time ago, the layered walls don't do anything, so just... Definitely not a base you want to have, so I just drop my king and queen out. They do nothing compared to what they used to do when attacking. They used to just be these powerhouses. For all of you guys that don't have the the heroes, just they got changed so much. The queen still does a lot of damage, but the king, compared to what he used to do, just nothing. But he's still quite a tanky, quite a tanky unit. So he is pretty cool, and he has some uses. But it's very, very different. So people are trying to find out kind of what are the uses for all of these troops and how's the best way to use them. All right, so these the, the P.E.K.K.A.s are tearing this base up. These guys are so, so strong. They look really cool. I like their animation a lot and their new art. I mean, I think the P.E.K.K.A.s needed to be a little bit bigger for a long time, but they definitely delivered. There, I missed the Archer Queen. I needed to use her ability to regen that health, but I just wasn't thinking this in this part of the raid, and that kind of got away from me. So I didn't manage to get that Archer Queen up, but if you notice, I have all of my P.E.K.K.A.s. I have four because I actually had one in my clan castle, so all four of my P.E.K.K.A.s are still up. Not one has gone down. That's how crazy these girls are, just totally demolishing this base, just rocking it, and they're all still up. So guys... I'm feeling in, I'm feeling a generous mood, so I'm gonna do a little giveaway thing. So if you guys want a chance to win two twenty-five dollar iTunes gift cards I got from Feature Points, comment down below what you want to see in the next update and like the video. So do that, and I'll pick a winner. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So this raid is gonna turn out to a hundred percent three-star victory. Real, real nice one, and that's a way to start off the video with a perfect go wipe raid. Look at those, look at those girls, boom, chop, chop, motherfucker, you dead. So there's 300,000 gold plus that nice 75,000 Master 3 loot bonus, and we're off to a very, very good start. Let's get right into the next battle. Da -da -da. Who are we taking on next? Okay, so we're going to BOP from Onion A. So this is a much better upgraded base. But his town hall is pretty exposed, so I thought I could snag that pretty easily and get a easy two star with the 50%. So this raid, I'm trying the, the jump spell because the jump spell got totally reworked. So I wanted to try it out. It's supposed to kind of suck the units towards the towards the area and have the troops kind of go over it. So I dropped the jump spell and <laughs> immediately one Pekka right, went right in the right in the middle of the base, and the other two went totally towards the right. So I just, I smacked my head. I mean, what are, what are you guys doing? I thought the jump spell kind of drew you guys in. But it didn't really work. But no worries. I still had enough troops get right towards the central reason to easily get that first star on that town hall. 
there you see the Barbarian King took plenty of chops to get rid of that Town Hall, and it used to be just three chops with his ability, and that Town Hall was just toast. Alrighty, so we still have quite a few troops up, easily going to get that two star, and that's basically all we need, because I don't think we're going to be able to three star this base, because those P.E.K.K.A.s went around the right side and just kind of threw themselves away, and it didn't really do anything. So I'm just going to try to get as much loose loot as possible from this raid. Look at that, 2,500 Dark Elixir. That is just beautiful. Dark Elixir. Everybody needs that. Even now that the it's kind of a, a lesser commodity now that the heroes aren't as good. But it's still a good idea to upgrade your heroes because the abilities make such a big difference now. So my main goal right now is to get my Archer Queen up to level 30. Because the level really do that much for damage. But the the um, ability levels do a huge huge difference so I need to get her really up so if you guys that's by um, every five levels if you guys don't know what I'm talking about for ability levels so every time your hero goes to 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on to 40 they get an upgrade in their ability get some more troops and there you see look how much health she regens that's pretty crazy she's gonna be able to snag that gold and I think I'm gonna wrap up the raid right here so she just doesn't take any more damage so I got a bunch of Dark Elixir going to round up to 3k with that loot bonus and another nice 2 star raid. Alrighty guys, we got one more Go Wipe raid for the video. We're not going to be using the jump spell, we're just going to be using my normal 2 raids, 3 freeze because I like having that kind of the freeze to control the Inferno Towers. Didn't mean to drop that uh, Barbarian there and if you see, <laughs> that is going to bite me at the end of this raid. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's going to bite me. So I dropped the 3 golems kind of spread out in the base. I needed to uh, kind of pop the walls open because there's three layers and then I'm in towards the central region. So now that they're open, I'm going to send my P.E.K.K.A.s out, send my heroes because the heroes are kind of taking it out. I think as my king is kind of an extended golem and he used to be just this crazy DPS unit. That was pretty tanky as well, but now he's much more tanky because he has that health regen boost. So I'm just going to be dropping the free spells in the Inferno Towers, letting my troops go right towards the central region, and tear this base apart. So there you see just the P.E.K.K.A.s just wreck havoc on all of these base. These girls are crazy. I think I'm going to have to do a, maybe a video in a few days where I just do an all-out P.E.K.K.A. raid and just destroy some high-level bases like that. I think that'd be a lot of fun to do. So we're just tearing up this base. We get an easy two-star. The question is, are we going to be able to three-star this base? We still got quite a few troops open, but I don't think I got my Archer Queen ability, so she went down way too early. So you really have to be micromanaging your heroes much more in this update than the previous ones, because before you just click their ability, whenever you kind of was in a central area, or the Archer needed to snipe off a building, or she was getting targeted. Now you really have to kind of use it situationally, because you need... You, you want the king to have his rage ability and to do more damage, but you also don't want to use it too early because he regens so much health, you don't, you don't want to waste that regen. So you kind of have to bounce that and see see what's going on. I know a lot of the higher level players are complaining that the heroes just totally went to waste because people spent so much money on the heroes and upgraded them all the way up, and now they're just nothing compared to what they used to be. But... I don't know, I think the heroes are still pretty strong. As you can see, my, my king is doing a pretty darn good job tanking through this base. So there, my my troops go pretty well. This actually wasn't the raid I was thinking about. That is the next raid where my barbarian was a mess up. So we got one more battle, guys. This was a nice, nice one, 20 trophies, a lot of loot. So one more battle, guys, I will see you then. All right, guys, I got one more last raid, and it's a good one to wrap up this video. So this guy was pretty loaded, 362,000 gold available to steal. And again, I'm rocking the go wipe strategy because I just think it's so powerful and such a, I don't know, I really like it because you're kind of controlling your troops more than kind of like the go wee wee where you just dropped your witches and kind of kind of spray and pray a little bit. I'm not knocking the go wee wee strategy, but I just kind of like the go wipe strategy a little bit more. I always have. So I sent my troops right in towards that central region. They're running towards that Inferno Tower. I'm going to drop my free spell now, get rid of the Inferno Tower, then rage my P.E.K.K.A.s and hero up. They're going to be able to get right in that central region and drop another free spell to take out that other Inferno Tower. And look at these P.E.K.K.A.s go. Just absolutely demolish that town hall just so, so quickly. And now my troops are right in that central region. I'm going to drop another free spell just to get a little pressure off my P.E.K.K.A.s because the Inferno Tower, even if it's going to be up for a little bit of time, it's going to pack a lot of damage in there. So I have a lot of troops up still, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling real confident about this raid. I have a lot, a lot of good things going on. The 
My, my, I just popped my Barbarian King's ability. He still has a lot of health. My Wizards are looking good. Got a P.E.K.K.A. Got, a, I think, two P.E.K.K.A.s up. My Golems are still up. And I'm feeling pretty good. But if you see, this guy has Builder Huts kind of spread out in the corners. So it's going to be tough. And I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Do you guys comment right now? Do you guys think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to three-star? Yes or no? Well, I sure no, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so, so close. I'm just saying, it's gonna be so, so close. And my barbarian king is being a great guy. He's running up to the to the top of the base, being all slow and stuff. But I have some wizards as well that are gonna come down and do some nice damage. Help, help this golem out. These two golems out. Or do I have any? Okay, I think I have archers. I thought I had a wizard. Okay, okay. So it's gonna be real close. We got 90% with a minute left. Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, my Barbarian King's being great. Instead of going for those open buildings, he is chopping that wall down. Just what we need. Just what we need, Barbarian King. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He's running in. 42 seconds on the clock. Can we do it, guys? Hype. Hype right now. Let's see. Barbarian King isn't going to go down. No, he's not going down. He's too good. 30 seconds. Three Builder Huts remaining, all in the bottom. Two right here and one in the bottom left corner. Donna, Donna, Donna. Chop, chop. Barbarian King can still get those one hit, thank God. 18 seconds to get to this one Builder Hut in the last corner. Can we do it? 99% for the last raid of the video. Can you do it, Barbarian King? I know Golems can't get there. Archer's shooting. She's shooting. She's not going to... No, no, Barbarian King, so close. No, he didn't do it. Oh, a second off. So instead of getting 33 trophies, I got ripped with only 22. But still an awesome raid, 99% a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace.